All right, y'all, it's time for the last video of the evening, and um, I didn't do a tarot card deck yesterday, so if you're looking for it, like, why is he not, where's this at? And, like, maybe it's still not popped up yet. No, I I didn't do one yet. I, I didn't do one last, <sighs> I didn't do one last night because I got really, really tired, and... My phone looked at me and said, like, I don't know if you're going to make it. And I, like, you know what? I don't make it anyway. I'm just too freaking tired. So I, and I didn't really, I mean, I got a little bit of sleep last night, but it feels like I still could use some more. So hopefully I can get this done real quick and then I'm going to bed. So just got through watching Survivor. So ready to call it a do. So, uh, anyway, I cannot remember what these cards were. So, let's see here. Do a recap. So, we have the Nine of Pumpkins. Well, I'm probably not going to shuffle them again tonight. I think I'm just going to go on from it and see what happens. Since I shuffled a little pretty good this last time. So, I'm just going to just wing it and keep going. So we got four of pumpkin, upright, prosper, hard work, diligence, you're responsible for newfound wealth. Uh, I don't know about that necessarily. Um, we're, we're doing overtime this week, so maybe that's it. And that since I'm, um, I'm raking in some dough, so maybe that's what it means. I mean, if that be the case. Uh, Ace of potions. Ace of Potions. You're cut off from your emotions to protect you, you, yourself from rejection. More or less, because I may have to work next Friday and I don't really want to. That's my dad's birthday and I really want to take him out to breakfast. So I'm really trying to hold in my emotions. So I can kind of see that. That's definitely a, a big thing there. How did you know? <laughs> All right, man. Judgment. I apologize. I got the yawns. Well, I found justice, but I didn't find judgment. Well, because I didn't go far enough. You must go further. So basically saying I found refuge at home. I definitely did. So... I'll take that as a win there, too. All right, King of Candles, and it was upside down. Arrogant and condescending, refusing to hear the opinions of others. I don't think so. I don't see where that happened at all, so uh, that one gets a negative. And last but not least, we have Ace of Pumpkin. And it was upside down. Your venture has fallen. You, mu you may have lost well, failed business endeavor. Other than working overtime, that's it. I mean, actually, that would mean I'm racking in dough this week. So, as far as this week goes, anyway. Because, yes, I will have to do the overtime this week. And I don't care. <coughs> I only have no plans for this Friday. So, that just means I'm I'm raking in the dough. Instead of making, uh, spending money, I'm making money. So, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, I'd rather spend it with Angela, but hey, at the same time, if you're going to give me money, I'll take it. So anyway, here we go. So first off, we have the Herophant. 
however you say that word. I'm just going to say the book. We have the book. So we're going to put it at the top. Usually I get it reversed, but this time it's been upright. So we got Queen of Pumpkins upside down. I usually get that one upside down. I don't know why. Then we have Ace of Lightning upside down. So it goes in the center. We got three of pumpkins upright. It will go to the right. And then one more card. We have uh, the seven of pumpkins upside down. So we'll see what that means. Let's first start with the Hierophant. The book. We'll start with the book. Here we go. So for the book, upright, says every potion, every spell, every dark art is aligned. Your life is strongly influenced by uh, society, social norms and conventions. Take the time to reflect on these traditions and how they may impact your journey. Does tradition aid you or does you do you feel hindered does convention guide you or are you forced to conform into it well i don't feel like i'm being forced by any means and uh i think i know what he's talking about and that would be halloween right now would be the social norm and like i said i don't feel like i am like i have to participate i am more or less willing to participate also, with the sporting events going on right now, we have uh, why well, I'm wearing it here the Boston Celtics. They won last night. Um, they tied the the three point record for a game, and uh, against the New York Knicks. And then you, we have hockey. The uh, the Kraken, who unfortunately lost last night. I think it was three to one. So, oh well, can't win them all. So that's that's only their second loss though for the season thus far. So I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, so yeah, I don't. I I say that's a good thing in a way. But yeah, no, I don't. That'd be more of the present. And I know we got stuff for Halloween that's planned for the weekend, but I think our plans are really for Saturday evening. Well, Friday evening also, but. That's after I get off work on Friday. So, it, like I said, my plans are not going to be affected from working overtime this Friday. So, I'm really not worried about it. Just get that extra moolah and then go have some fun. Alright, we have Queen of Pumpkin. Let's see what Queen of Pumpkin. I gotta go one more. The queen only aids those she can man manipulate. Uh, she seeks to enable others for her own benefit. Everything she offers comes at a heavy price. What she asks for in return is worth the support uh, she provides. I have no idea what it's talking about there. Angela doesn't do that and she would be the queen of the household, so... I have no idea. And as far as my lead at work goes, she does not do that. So I have not known her to manipulate anybody as of yet. So, I mean, she might have her bad days, but I don't think she's ever done that. So, I think she's actually been pretty helpful. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what he's talking about there. All right, so moving on, we have... Ace of Lightning, and it's upside down. It says, a great truth has been uncovered, but it is a dark one. Do you not know what to do next and perhaps feel betrayal by this discovery? Alternatively, this card may indicate a desire secret that has yet been uncovered. Choose your next actions carefully to avoid misfortune. No idea what it's talking about there either. Maybe that's something for tomorrow. I don't know. 
All right, now we have three of pumpkin. So we got pumpkins now. Both of these should be pumpkin. So first off, the three of pumpkin. I'm on the page. I'm still trying to turn it. <laughs> All right, so it says three pumpkins are better than one. That's true in, in any endeavor. A collaboration with others may result in success, though you must be willing to pull your own weight. Whether uh, you feel fit to lead the pack or follow in someone else's wake, teamwork is the way to go. Definitely was today. We worked as a team and we were able to get a lot more of those units knocked out today. If we continue doing what we're doing for the next two days, chances are we'll be will be uh, caught up and we won't have to work next Friday so you just gotta wait and see what we can do and and get caught up as a group all right and then the last but not least we have eight of pumpkin I mean I'm sorry seven of pumpkin and it's upside down so says you have invested poorly uh, or not at all in a future endeavor. Rushing toward a goal uh, will lead to disastrous results. Take the time to plan or plant or build and grow. Only through our foundation will you find long-term success. Well, right now I haven't really invested in anything, so I can't say maybe that's the problem because it said that like, you did not invest. I don't know anything to invest in at the moment, so I don't know. That one's kind of got me uh, kind of pondering. So apparently I need to invest in something or I failed to invest. Or I mean my investment either failed or I didn't invest in something. I haven't invested in anything yet, but I didn't know I was supposed to. So, And then number two here, so... We have the pumpkins, three pumpkins, teamwork. We definitely use teamwork at work today, and hopefully we will continue tomorrow. So hopefully that stays in, in condensation, or keeps going there. This one about a secret. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. And then this one just got me baffled, because like I said, my lead and my girlfriend are not like that. So I don't I don't think that one's going to come to terms. And then, last but not least, this one. So, I think that has to do with Halloween and all that. Because we do have some plans coming up soon this week. That we've already made for uh, Friday and Saturday evening. And, yes, it has to do with Halloween. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. So like I said, Friday night we are... Uh, Friday night we're going to the Berg. There is something about a haunted thing with the, uh, and I'm hoping I need to probably invite Jason, uh, Marty Maynard. If he's watching this, I mean he's invited, but it, you know you're invited. I think you probably already know though, but uh, the historical society in Warrensburg to doing some type of haunted thing on Friday night, and I forgot exactly where it's at, but I'm gonna send him a, a link to it. And see if he wants to come. But, because uh, I think it's one of those where it's free. Uh, and uh, I don't know, is there, there you have a limit. I think you just come in and, but it's like haunted stories that they're telling you, basically, or whatever. So, it sounds like it'd be pretty interesting. And then, Daisy, stop it. Um. Uh, Sorry, she's trying to bite herself. Um, but anyway, um, Saturday we're going to be in Knob Noster. We're going to do horror movie trivia. And then um, it's also dress up. So we're going to dress up as, uh, as Beetlejuices for that event. So that will be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that one as well. So, yeah. A lot of things uh, to do 
on uh, this weekend. So definitely, definitely good with that card. And uh, that's what I got for y'all. So now I'll let y'all look at the spread. What it looks like, and I'm sorry, it looks like it's, it's kind of falling off the edge there, but or about to, but that's the best I can do. So that's what it looks like. That's all I have for y'all for this evening. And I hope you all have a good one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, this video is for the 24th of October. So this is for Thursday. Um, it'll probably upload sometime on Thursday. So that's usually just the way it works. But I did this at uh, 9 o'clock today on Wednesday for Thursday so we'll see how well it works and if you if it works great for you let me know in the comments down below or yesterday's for that matter or whatever well I didn't do one yesterday but you know what I mean the day before uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, if you don't want to go into detail you do not have to um, if you do wish to go into detail I will read it um, and I'll comment down below it just to let you know that i read it or whatever uh, you know but uh but i'm not going to like embarrass you by um uh, making a a video or throwing your name out there on the next video or whatever you don't have to worry about me doing that so uh, but yeah i'm just more curious to see if this stuff actually works or not than anything else i mean actually works for more more than just me so um, since I'm reading it to an audience. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys for this evening. Uh, you all have a good one. Peace out, and you can see me on the next video, whatever video that is for you. Uh, catch y'all later. Bye.